welcome back to another very special nighttime episode. Um, our last pour we did, Feeling Groovy, was a play on a Dutch pour using my little Makita leaf blower. <laughs> and it was really fun. And I want to explore that a little bit more tonight, but not so chaotic and haphazard. I want to do it with a little bit more intention. So this is a 36 by 36 gallery wrapped canvas. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. So that's ready to go. I will show you my colors and then we will go ahead and get started. Okay, so this first one is Liquitex Basics, Thalo Blue. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and the paint and some Floetrol and a lot of water. <laughs> um, much less paint than I usually have used in the past because I do want it, this, I do want it thin. So that's our Liquitex Basics Thalo Blue. You see it's just barely leaving a mound and sinking right away. So that's cool. Uh, this one is Arteza Viridian Green. I love that word, it's such a cool word, Viridian. And the same thing. Very slight mound, disappearing. Cool stuff, great color. Uh, the next one is Golden's Turquoise Thalo. Love this. Not super, super thick. Just barely leaving a mound before it sinks. Okay. The next one is Golden's Green Gold. Beautiful. Such a beautiful consistency with these. Honestly, so dreamy to mix them up. So I love this with the turquoise. And I'm curious to see what happens with the Viridian. So that's cool. And with the green gold, I always like to use the 24 karat gold. Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I was tempted to leave this one a little bit thicker, but in the end I decided not to. <laughs> okay, the white that I'm using for my base coat is also the same thing that's in here. This is Blacrylic Economy Acrylic Polymer? No, yeah, Polymer. So it's their Artist Loft type paint from Blick. And to this I have also added just a, a dollop of satin enamels. Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white. So, that's cool. And that's what's in that big one. So I'm going to move these over and I'm going to put the base coat down. And then we'll get started. So that's a 36 by 36. And I just would like to make a quick note. Last night I used a lot of paint. <laughs> there was like way too much paint and when I scraped the drips up there was a lot of paint on the table. And I would just like to say that that was all leftover paint to begin with. I had about that much left in my cups and I just thinned that out except for that one acrylic color. So yes, it looked like a lot of paint but it was really a lot of water. Okay, let's fit this down. So that looks pretty good. Nice and smooth. Okay, so last time I did this, I had the big 16 ounce cups and I think I had a lot of paint coming out all at once. So tonight I actually have little seven ounce ones and little five ounce ones and I'm gonna put this paint in these and use these to distribute it. I think I'm gonna use the little ones first. So the first color I really wanna do is the phthalo blue. And then I'm just gonna get these other ones ready too. Turquoise. Some of the green gold. Okay. Now I'm ready. All right, so the game plan is I'm 
I'm going to put, a, last time when I was doing this last night, I was sort of getting used to the speed, and I think the higher speed you use, the more mud it makes. So I'm using a lower speed tonight, and I'm also not going to just go in one direction and move straight. I'm going to kind of lay out a line, and then I'm going to blow out that line. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to start, I'm going to pinch the cup so not a lot is coming out, and I'm just going to put a very small line of blue, just like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to put just a little bit of gold next to that. Okay. Now let's blow this out. See how it goes. Okay. Kind of what I want to keep doing with more layers. I'm going to put some of this turquoise in there now and some of the green gold. And just a little bit. Okay, let's blow that out. I'm going to start on this side first. I like that. Okay, I'm gonna put some of the blue in now. Now, maybe we'll kind of go in this direction a little bit. Turn this. I'm gonna kind of go across here now. And I'm gonna use the green this time, the Viridian green. And a little bit of the green gold. I like the way that gold is looking, so I'm going to put another line of gold in here first. I'm going to come back to the turquoise. Okay. 
pretty cool. We need a little bit over here. Let's just do just blue and see what happens. I don't want to keep going over the outer edges, so maybe I'm just going to start more inside. I'm going to put a little bit more white down. And then some of the blue. I want to do something in here though. I really love this. I have a bad feeling I'm about to mess that up. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm going to put a little bit more weight over here. Gonna get this corner. Do I like that better? The like indentations or better? Okay, so there's some awesome things happening in here. Really, really cool. All of this gold creating this lacing. All these beautiful cells in here with that turquoise and a little bit of the green gold and the gold and that beautiful phthalo blue. I love this part here, the phthalo blue and the turquoise mixed with the white is so pretty. 
put these gold cells in this really fine lacing. We're going to torch it still too. So this is cool. I like this edge. I love that. That's really pretty. I need to clean up that corner and make it white again. This is beautiful. I love the green there. Very cool. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm just going to fix that corner real fast. And then... And I want to leave this corner white. I like the it again. I like that pale blue. Okay. Especially against, I love that against the turquoise. It's gorgeous. And another moss just now. Come on, dudes. What are you doing? Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's wipe our hands off and we will torch it and then we will be all finished. So, I think the final way from your perspective it should be like that. Okay, so this is really cool. I really love all of this, like really pale turquoise and green. It's beautiful. And then you get into the more bold. And I love that little bit of gold all through that section that sailed up beautifully. That was really pretty with the green gold right there. Cool stuff, very neat. So this is a lot of fun. I'm really <laughs> enjoying this. I'm not sure I like this. I kinda wanna blow that that way. That's kind of awesome. So, <laughs> our big, huge 36 by 36 flower, sort of. Looks floral to me, does it look floral to you? I don't know why though. These colors are like screaming Hawaii to me. The turquoise and the, the oceans, Hawaiian oceans. All we need is a turtle. <laughs> no. All right, this is awesome. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate your time and your being here with me and all your lovely comments. You guys are, I have the nicest subs in the world. Thank you so much for all your support and encouragement. It means so much to me and I know to HOA too. We will see you guys soon. Okay, so this is a couple of days later now and this is dry. I am. <laughs> this is really cool. I really, really like parts of this one. This was the Viridian Green and the Thalo Blue from Liquitex Basics and the 24 karat gold and that beautiful green gold from Goldens. Gorgeous stuff. Very pretty. Beautiful cells in here. 
I really like this. It's it's very cool, and uh, that that technique is just <laughs> as amusing as it is that it's a leaf blower. It's actually really cool because it is cordless, and there isn't any heat involved. Really, really pretty effect. So several of you had mentioned that feathered look when we did the last one in the comments, and that's more evident here. So this was fun. I think I want to play with this a little bit more and think about it a little bit more because I thought I was getting some beautiful lines and some cells coming up like up there at the corner and then when we moved down and started doing more layers over here as I blew them out it felt like they were covering up some of the really cool details on the first part that we had done. So that's when I started moving down further to stretch it out more. So I think I need to play with that just a little bit more to really figure out how I want to do it. But I do really love the effects that are happening from that Dutch pour technique of the, the air swipe, as it were. Very cool stuff. These colors are beautiful together. There's one section right in here that just, oh, that's so pretty. That dark, dark green and the phthalo blue and the gold mixing with the white. So a note about that Blickrylic economy stuff. I really like the white and the black that I've used so far. The last one we used the violet and I was not impressed with the color saturation of it, the pigmentation. But so far the white has been awesome and I used the black last night in a pour you guys will see next week. <laughs> but I really like this. It's beautiful, I love this section in here where there's that darker phthalo blue against the white and the turquoise in there is just gorgeous. Very pretty stuff. That contrast is amazing. So this was pretty cool. Um, several of you had mentioned in your comments on Feeling Groovy that you really liked that I had tilted it, and I did too. I thought that really made that piece work a lot. A, there was so much paint on that canvas. This one did not have nearly as much paint on it and I did not actually tilt it. I think I tried to once at the end. <laughs> but this one wasn't tilted out. So, you know, this has more of a cell structure that was maintained. I think that one celled up afterwards when it was drying and this one, the cells popped up while it was still wet because I didn't tilt it very, very much. But cool stuff anyway. I mean, just figuring out what that tool can do and how to use it a lot less mud in this one, a lot less blending. I do see more individual colors from, you know, not going over and over and over the same spot to make mud. And also I was very cognizantly using the leaf blower on a much slower speed so that I wouldn't create that blast that just instantly turned everything to mud. So pretty cool stuff though. I really like this one. My sister-in-law came over the other day and she saw it and she goes, oh, it's a flower power. So that seemed to fit very well in with our feeling groovy theme that we had going on. So this one is flower power. <laughs> I think we have at least one more in this series, if not two, that I still want to experiment and play with. But this was a lot of fun. I really, I like figuring out new stuff and how to make it work. I think I did enjoy tilting. I miss, I kind of miss that I didn't tilt this one a little bit more, but with the composition that we had going, you know, I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's working great. So there's some parts that I really, really like. I really like where there's a lot of contrast, like this one part over here on the edge where there's the darker viridian green. And then there's that beautiful, like almost lacing. There we go. I hope you guys can see all those details. Just really, really pretty. How the colors all blended and watching them all sort of like flow across each other and spread out really really beautiful just fun to watch you know fun to do so this was really cool I enjoyed this <laughs> it's not exactly what I wanted it to end up being but that's okay you know you gotta go with the flow and see where life takes you sometimes so this was awesome thank you guys so much for hanging out with us we really do appreciate your time I hope that you are having a beautiful weekend and I will see you guys next time Bye-bye.